Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do a reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, uh, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Aries with a clear, concise message. Aries, I want to let you know about uh, this is the season to give back. So we're having our annual Give to the Less Fortunate Drive. Okay, If you've never given to the channel, this is the time. If you feel like this is good energy, a good energy exchange, come on, give back. The link is below. You can donate via GoFundMe or you can uh, buy something from the Amazon wish list. Uh, it's different toiletries. For those who are in uh, in need of, um, you know, we'll just be frank. Those who live on the streets, homeless people. Um, so take advantage. You know, uh, it won't be just me giving. It'll be us. So um, this will come from El Toro and family. All right. So uh, go ahead and give to that a dollar, 50 cent, whatever you got. It's, it's going to a good cause. All right. Let's get into it. So Aries, like. Some of so I feel like I'm talking to like maybe like three different groups of you. Some of you are just tired of being single, okay? You know, um, you might have an option here or there. I don't think you you're really serious about it, or they're not serious about you. Anyway, you're tired of being single. You're almost asking yourself the question: Is this it? You know, like will I ever have someone? Then some of you are tired of someone always, you know, that come back in, or you're tired of this cycle. Of you know maybe someone lusting after you, wanting to come to you for sex, or you're tired of people looking at you as uh, maybe a sexual object, a tool. Um, and then there's a third party. Not a third. Well, there could be a third party, but there's a third, uh, like a third of you who are feel like okay, um, you're a part of some connection where you already know that somebody is married, coupled, and you're on the outside, you're on the out outskirts of this connection. And this person kind of cycles in, cycles out. You get, you get bored with it. You also are getting, you get bored when they ignore you and they don't have time for you. Um, you also may be a little bit, you know, tired of being single. You want intimacy. You want passion. You want lust. You want love. Some of you are in marriages where you just feel like the, the love is gone, or not the love, but the passion, the desire, um, is gone. You know. Uh, or maybe it never exists. Let's see what's happening for Aries here. Some of you are resisting to going back to somebody who you know can't give you what you want. You know, it's just going to be about sex or it's going, you know, about having fun, right? Yeah, message of concern. Maybe they hit you up, you hit them up. You know, it's out of the blue, it's out of nowhere. Maybe they want to make up with you, um, be your friend, quote unquote. Let's see. And then you have yeah, imprisonment, distant horizons. So you could be kind of estranged from this person right now. You could be single. You're wondering when a relationship is going to come in. It says distant horizons here. It could be kind of far off for you, Aries. It looks like somebody is stuck on you. You're stuck on them. This person gives you very little. You know that you're in some relationship where you can't get what you want. You know, it's just all about maybe, you know lust and they give you a little something here and there and a little gift a little token of appreciation what they're not giving you is devotion commitment regard respect so it's just like you know um you don't want to be a part of that uh, let's see what else is going on here you feel like you keep manifesting people or situations relationships where it's just not enough where there's something missing or they only want you for sex. You may have been in some relationship where, you know, the thrill is gone, honey. Yes. And the love is almost gone, too. It, it could be just duty, obligation, drudgery. You know, just I'm just here because you're trying to resist somebody because they try to put their will on you. You know, they try to ex ex exert their will over you. Like, you know, hey, you are a single woman or a single man. Why not indulge? Why not give me a chance? Why not have fun with me? Why not date me? Even though I'm not marrying you or I'm not thinking about getting married or I'm already married. So someone may even be coming at you with that whole spiel like, hey, you know, why have nobody when you can have me? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, gift. You know, giving just enough. Wanting to reconcile. Come back to you. 
But this relationship is hard work, has been hard, hard work, toil, and labor. It's just like, um, when you, when they come back to you, it's just, it's the same, it's the same energy, it's the same roundabout. Nothing has changed. You're not really getting your needs met. Either that is physically, um, emotionally, mentally, whatever. How, whatever capacity you're in. Let's get Aries a card of advice here. What is advice? What is the advice for Aries? Some of you just like you feel like you're in stagnant situations, stuff, toxic situations that is just unhealthy at this point. Um, is some of you just want adventure? You want excitement? You want spontaneity? I can never say that word. You want somebody to be spontaneous? Um, you you're not getting it, and then you're also some of you just tired of somebody coming to you for sex, like looking at you as a sex pot. Apply, yeah, somebody's going to try to apply pressure to get you to change your mind. You need to apply something or apply yourself. Yeah, drama, 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 chameleon. So they try to come back and act like they are, are a gift wrapped with a little bow, but they're really drama. And that's what they bring to your life or vice versa. This is how somebody feels about you. Um, yeah, definitely Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Somebody is always, you know, looking you up to have a good time. You know, they like how funny and charismatic and outgoing and talkative you are. And they love the sex. So it's like, why not go and ride the roller coaster or ride the ride of uh, Aries? Some of you are just trying to, some of you are studying spirituality or just trying to be more pious. Or you shut down the wound or the walk. You don't want it. You don't need it. You know that you're dealing with somebody who's already married or has another person. And all they do is, you know... Stop and start. Two of Cups, the lovers. This could be a high-level soulmate connection, but it's like somebody won't choose to do right or choose to um, go on the journey, the soulmate journey. And you may have had to walk away or you are walking away out of self-respect. You know, you analyze the situation. And to stay in this would be asinine. You could be dealing with a Pisces. This could be your last-ditch effort to make something happen. Maybe even a marriage. You just feel like something is lackluster. This is what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates down in the comment section. Go over to the website. Book your own reading there. Ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. I am live every Tuesday, Thursday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thursday night, I do a collective reading, and then I answer your questions for free. So if you want to take advantage of that, go ahead and do that. Um, what else? I am hosting my first meet and greet. Here in the metro Atlanta area, if you're in the state of Georgia and you want to meet me, greet me, fellowship with me, go ahead and subscribe to my website. Go to the website, tarotofl.com. Uh, the first pop-up, type your email address in there and you will get the details as to when and where I will be. You can come out and meet me. It's completely free. All right. Thank you. Many blessings to you. Take care.